We are in the middle of the desert. We're here in Nevada for Rocket Project. Hi, everybody. Uh, these are the, the the Rocket Project team members, at least four of them. Hi, you guys. Hi. <laughs> All right, so this is a very informal, behind-the-scenes interview. I'm Vanessa Lopez. I'm Karina Simpson. I'm Kevin Tu. I'm Zina Nabu. And I'm Sukjeet from Sony. <laughs> Tell me about some of the big challenges you guys have had with Rocket. Uh, well, some of the big challenges is really... I think in the very beginning, it was very, really hard for us to wrap uh, our minds around all the physics and intricate details involved in rocketry, but now uh, now that we've been more close to it, and now that we're starting to see everything come together, it's about making a lot more sense. What compels you to do something that's really a big challenge? The, the whole, like, that adventures, I don't know, it's just the always going past the, like the, the barrier, the limitations, you know, it's, and the technology is always changing, and that's the one place where, where you could be like creative and do something innovative. Science and engineering is kind of a only career that I, I really, I really considered, as opposed to something like history, because it happened in the past. It's, it's not. Well, no, no offense to any historians, but it's not useful <laughs> to the future. Whereas in something like engineering and technology, we are helping advance society. I think that's like the whole point, you know, of, of coming together to try to do something useful for society. So what's the what's the worst part about being in the desert? Anybody? Oh, gosh. The porta potty. Yes. Porta potty. <laughs> porta potty. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> You used a lot of Sony gear over the last few months. The bio is used in this project in a, in a variety of ways. At first, we did a lot of simulations using our computer. Um, we used a program called RockSim to sort of model the rocket. As we get closer to the project, we're also using it to control the launch, to monitor, to get signals from the GPS and every other communication we have with the rocket is done with the laptop. We use the bloggers a lot because it helped us to document, um, take pictures, shoot videos of everything we're doing. I think the bloggers are like perfect for yeah. this project. Actually, it was a little bit more fun, I, I think, uh, being able to uh, shoot video of what we are doing, so that was cool. Do you girls have any words of encouragement for other women who, other girls who might want to go into science? Don't let the guys intimidate you. They're not as smart as they seem. <laughs> Gentlemen, yeah. do you have anything to say about that? Um, Kevin looks like no. he's gonna like. <laughs> Just don't get intimidated. <laughs> Don't get intimidated. Yeah, I that's like that. that's like yeah. the only thing. I agree. Say. Don't get intimidated. One thing that we're all gonna take back to back with us wherever we're going um, is, I guess, the fact that um, if we could do this, basically we could do anything.